Whether you're coming from Notion or are trying out a note-taking app for the first time, using Obsidian as a beginner has never been easier, all thanks to the MakeMD Community plugin. It enhances the foundational features of Obsidian, making them more powerful and easier to use. Formatting notes using Markdown becomes more accessible using tooltips and slash commands. Folders get turned into spaces, which better organizes your notes through sections and different dashboard views. And lastly, contexts are improved tags, which lets you add properties to the different types of notes in your vault. I'll be showing how to set everything up in a new vault, so if you want to use the plugin and Obsidian to its full potential, be sure to watch until the very end. To install the plugin, you just need to head to Settings, Community Plugins, Turn on community plugins, browse, and then search up make.md. Install and enable the plugin. First, I'll talk about how it improves the note taking experience since that's kind of the core feature of Obsidian. Let's just first create a new file. And as you can see, all of this might look a little bit different from what you're used to. Up here, we have an option to change the sticker of the note, just like Notion. So we can just add an emoji, um, doesn't seem to load, I'm just going to reopen it. And you also have an option to change the cover or the banner of the note at the top. But what I want to focus on maybe is the way you format your notes. Because Obsidian uses a markdown syntax and to maybe bold something you would have to add asterisks between the text or to add a header you would have to add a hashtag and then the text after. But with MakeMD you won't necessarily have to remember all the syntax. Let's say I wanted to bold some text. I would then select the text I want to bold. And as you can see, this tooltip pops up where I can choose some more commonly used syntax. Bold, italic, strike throughs, code, web links, and links to notes. So I can just bold here. But not all syntax is based on selecting text. Sometimes you just want to insert something like a header. So to apply markdown syntax, for these kinds of things, you can just type a slash. And this will give you a list of most of the other things you can create in these notes. So you can add a header like we did at the top, do the exact same header. You can add a callout to maybe spice up your notes. And yeah, I personally prefer to still use syntax just because I find it faster, but this is a really good way of ingraining what syntax is associated with what formatting. But if you were to maybe type something before and then type slash, it wouldn't work. It has to start at the start of a new line. So yeah, using this, you're able to easily create a bunch of new notes. Let's just say I had a few more. And let's say you maybe wanted to organize them in a customizable way. Traditionally, you could just use the file explorer view in which you can create folders and organize notes inside them. But the problem is you can't really move these folders around or notes around because they're sorted based on alphabetical order. Maybe you had a folder for all your different assignments and then also had a folder for your different courses, but you wanted all your different courses notes to be up top here. But thankfully with MakeMD, we have this new space pane, which we can use to more dynamically organize these folders and notes. If you hover over a folder, you can see that there's this draggable icon. So if you hold left click, you can drag it to wherever you want. In this case, I can drag it above. And the same can also be said for the contents in these folders. I can move untitled to above untitled, breaking the alphabetical order. This can be useful if you have some more higher priority projects or just wanted to keep some things at the top without having to scroll too far when you have lots of notes. But let's say you wanted to use this vault for more than just school. Maybe you're a content creator and you wanted to have a folder for all your different videos. If you head up here, there's this icon right here, which lets you create a new space. Thankfully, we can use spaces to further organize these folders into different subsections. So if I click here, I can create a new space. I'm just going to name it work. And in here, we can put our video folder inside. 
This space just contains all the different folders and files in your vault, so even if you move something into a different one, it will stay here. And if we open this, you can see that we now have the videos folder in here as well. So usually you can't really have a folder in two different places, but this plugin lets you do so. So I'm just going to create another space for school. And I will put the courses and assignment folders in there as well. Now we can collapse this and now it's more organized. But wait, there's more. You can usually just expand a folder to see the notes inside. But what you can do with this plugin is actually click on the title and it'll take you to this view. There's a lot going on, so I'll go through things one at a time. If we head to the first tab, you can see that there's a note created with the same title as the folder name. And if we open this again, you can't really see it, but if you look into the normal file explorer, you can see it in there. Think of this as maybe a folder note in which you can further organize the contents inside or just take notes for yourself on what the contents of this folder entail. If you're a bit more familiar with Obsidian, you can start implementing things like data view queries to further sort your notes. But yeah, for now, I'm just going to type in the title of the note and then maybe link it to one assignment we have. Set this one to important. And then down here, we could just say something like not as important and then put another one. So now whenever we click this and click here, we can see this kind of like dashboard view. Next up, we can head back to the files tab. And in here, you can just basically see all the notes inside this folder. If you hover over, you can click on this thing called toggle flow, which basically lets you open the note right inside of here. So if we open up the note we typed in earlier, you can see all the contents. You can also do basic things like searching for notes. So I can just type in untitled one and find it. You can also head over here to add different um, sorting and grouping and filtering criteria. But what I find cool is the different ways at which you can view these notes. Have things like tables, cards, lists, which is what we had earlier, and the flow view, which lets you see all of them open at the same time. I'll revisit these once we go into maybe adding properties for these notes. By now, you should be able to organize your notes decently well, just with traditional folders and these new views we have. But let's take things one step further using tags, but on steroids, also known as context. Context enhance the tags in your vault. Usually, you would just use tags to maybe categorize the type of note you have. Let's say this is just an assignment. And this was an assignment as well, because they're in the assignments folder. And then let's just create a note in videos and then tag it video. So now in normal Obsidian, you can just open up command palette using control P, search up tags, and then show this tag pane over here. So then if you wanted to see what kinds of notes there were, you can just click on the tag and you would be able to see all of the results in the search pane. But with context, not only can you categorize and view these tags, you can also add properties to each note depending on what tags they have. So I'm going to head back to spaces, go to context, and as you can see, we have access to the tags we just made. So if we head to one of these notes again, to add a property to this type of note, we can add a property. We can type in something like do because we want to know when these assignments are due. And we can set the context based on the assignments tag. Realistically, a due date is a date. So we're just going to choose the date option and we're going to choose the format as year month date. So now we can save this property. And if we head back to assignment, you can see that we now have this due date field. If I were to click here, I can set the date and it'll give me a nice calendar to do so. So if I go back, so I'm going to add another property and I'm going to create one for the course the assignment is related to. Once again, set it to the assignment context and this time let's set it to a link and save the property. If we head to spaces real quick 
and add a course note. Just call it psychology 100. We can head back to the note we just made and then set the link to that note. I'm going to erase all this just to make it cleaner. Apparently there's also a backlinks view to let you see what notes link to this note specifically. In this case, the assignments note links to it. I'm going to close that for now. Let's also just assign the due date for the other notes as well. So now if we head to the context tag, we see everything all populated. And now we can start customizing our views. Other than this table view, we can also have a card view in which it will also show the different fields of the note. We have the list view, and then you can just see all the different fields right under the note title. And if we head to flow view, it looks a bit weird because um, these fields we're setting are essentially just metadata, but just made prettier and hidden. So the flow view might be a bit weird to look at. So yeah, if we head back to table, we can use the power of these database options to further organize these notes. We can group by a certain field. So then psychology one is separated from the ones that aren't selected. Apparently you can also save view. So we can save a view that just looks at these assignments by course. We can also sort based on the deadline. So we can put whatever's due soonest at the top or latest if you're built different. And if you maybe wanted to only show notes associated with the course, we can just add a new filter where the course field only contains that specific class. Now if I press enter, all the other ones disappear. So yeah, for each type of note you want to have in your vault, you can decide what kind of fields you want to group, sort, and filter by, which you can then easily edit in the note or in the view itself. If you want to learn more about the plugin, consider joining their Discord for more help, link in description. MakeMD is only one of the hundreds of plugins in Obsidian, so I suggest watching my Plugins Made Easy playlist for more potential improvements to your vault. Alternatively, you can continue learning more about Obsidian in this playlist right here. But if you found my advice to be helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. This has been John Maverick. Stay mindful.